Hello and welcome to another JoomlaForBeginners.com video tutorial. My name is John and in this tutorial we're continuing our Virtumart e-commerce solution series created specifically for the Joomla content management system. This is the second of seven video tutorials for the Virtumart global configuration panel and in this tutorial we're going to cover the security tab. We have a fresh copy of Joomla 1.5.8. We've installed the Virtumart component as well as the main Virtumart module and the sample data. We're logged in to the back end of this installation as a super administrator. We're going to go to the pull down menu, choose components, and select Virtumart. First thing we'll choose is configuration, and we're going to change our layout for our purposes to the extended layout. I think it's just easier to see in our 800 by 600 resolution. Today's lesson is the security tab. We're going to choose that and we're going to scroll down slightly. First up is our site URL and our secure URL settings. I should point out that all of the settings on the security tab are the default Virtue Mart settings. We haven't changed anything prior to today. Now, the site URL and the secure URL, unlike some other URLs in Joomla, have the trailing slash, the forward slashes, that's very important. If you don't know what these should be, you should leave these alone, because if your customer clicks on the wrong link, you're going to send them to an error page that doesn't exist, or a 404 page. Also in this area is the shop areas, which must use the secure HTTP, HTTPS. If you scroll down, you'll see all of the different modules that make up the Virtumart product. By default, account management and the checkout process is chosen to use the HTTPS. That's probably the most appropriate choices we have. Third, generally prevent HTTPS connections. This simply means that it, it should go to the regular HTTP URL except for the two items we currently have chosen above it. Secondly, we move down to the encryption function as well as the encryption key and the choice to store credit card information. On the encryption function, there's two possibilities. We can either encode, which is insecure, or we can encrypt, which shows that it has strong security. We're going to leave that setting the way it is. If we choose encrypt, it's actually encrypted prior to writing it to the, to the Joomla's database. And the encryption key, think of this as our own little personal secret passcode that we can lock and unlock the, the encryption to the database during a normal checkout procedure. Now, to store credit card information, if this is chosen, even if you use a third party uh, like PayPal rather than your own uh, payment uh, host, then uh, it's going to be stored. For most people, unless you're processing the credit card after the sale has been finished on the internet, then you'll want to take this check mark out. Moving down, we have a new choice to allow front-end administrators to use the front-end for non-back-end users. We're going to select this, and this lets our store administrator kind of manage the store from the front-end without having to hop into the administration panel in the back-end where we are right now. And moving up to more core settings, as it's labeled, the table prefix for the shop tables for our Joomla database is VM. This is the default setting. And unless you have something that's going to compete with this, uh, then you should probably leave the VM set as the default. These two home page and error page settings, again, are the default setting. The first one is shop.index, and the second is shop.error. Now, the final setting under the security tab is called global proxy settings and this isn't really necessary it's an option that we could use for example if we were pulling down the shipping rates from UPS or the United States Postal Service we would want to fill in all this information but it's certainly not needed to set up your basic shop well that's how we configure our security tab under the Virtumart global configuration panel